this is Susan Gold. She's been a patient of mine for quite a while, and um, she has a great success story. Um, why don't you share with us the type of pain that you experienced and how long you had that pain? Well, I had the pain for about 11 years, and it was all on the left side. Um, it was in the top of the head, the back of the head, the temple, behind the eye, on the inside corner of the eye, across the front of the neck, the back of the neck, here, the underarm, and under the shoulder blade. 11 years. 11 years. <laughs> Sounds like 11 agonizing years. It was. It was life life changing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it changed every aspect of my life and had me reevaluate everything that mm -hmm. was important to me. Now, how bad was your pain? A lot of people, you know, have a headache and then the next day they feel better. What was it like for you? A lot of people might not understand what 11 years of pain is like. It never went away. There was never a break. There was the 24-7 headache that was always there. Mm -hmm. And then there was what I used to refer to as the super headache. Mm -hmm. And that's what had um, the nausea, the pain behind the mm -hmm. eye. Um, it got to the point where if someone was talking to me, I couldn't even process their words. It was agony. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I tried to still work like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I. I learned many techniques to try and do that, but it's exhausting. One of the reasons that we had you uh, on today is to talk about how your pain was in the past and then talk about how your pain is now. Mm -hmm. um, we did something, we did a lot of different procedures that you mentioned. Sure. Epidurals, occipital nerve blocks, radio frequency, and all those things seemed uh, to help to some degree, right. but not to the degree that you needed to function. Um, one of the things that we're going to talk about on the program today is called occipital nerve stimulation. And this is a type of peripheral nerve stimulation. It's basically a type of pacemaker for pain management. Uh, for occipital use, it's an off-label use, uh, although there are many research studies that show that it's beneficial, and there are even more research studies being done right now. I just had to give that little intro, but I want you to talk about the process of occipital stimulation and what it's done for your life. Well, it's unbelievably fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, when it started first with the trial, mm -hmm. and thank you to my insurance company, we had some insurance problems at first with this. True. And so this was delayed a little bit, but um, when the trial happened, um, I, I ha was so hopeful for it. And uh, Joe from the company mm -hmm. ANS, um, he told me that the first day I may not feel everything, every mm -hmm. kind of relief to hang in there with it. Right. And I'm glad that he told me that because mm -hmm. one of the things that I really was feeling was this incredible sense of pressure at mm -hmm. the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Literally like I had another person, the weight of another person sitting on my head. Mm -hmm. And that took oh, about the third day of the trial. Mm -hmm. That was gone. Okay. And I couldn't believe that was gone mm -hmm. because if, if nothing else, um, that had stayed and the pain from the back of the head had gone, mm. I still would have been satisfied. Sure. But I was just totally amazed that that part of it was gone in the mm. trial. So um, was that pressure on there, was it from the trial or that was before the trial? That was before the trial. Okay. That was from the headaches. Gotcha. Okay. And um, so when we had the trial, I was really looking to see if that would go away sure. from the trial. And I was amazed that by the third day mm -hmm. of the trial that that went away. Mm. Wow. And um, after um, we removed the trial, mm -hmm. um, you know, it was very funny. Even a bus driver where I work noticed the difference right. um, between the day that I had it in and the day I didn't mm -hmm. the next day. And he didn't know anything was going on. Right, right. Um, he just saw mm -hmm. me through the window of a bus and picks up our students, maybe sees mm -hmm. us five minutes a day and said, what happened to that bounce in your step from <laughs> yesterday? Right. You know. Um, and so there was a remarkable difference just during the trial period. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of people who, who don't know what the trial is, I'm going to explain it just a little bit so you have a pretty good idea. But your pain, and I should show on this side, mm -hmm. was really right here and then all on the side of the head like she talked about. Um, on the trial, what we do is just numb up this part of the head right here, right in the middle, and then we slide in two needles and place those electrodes right where the worst pain is. Uh, and then we take the needles out and put in those flexible leads and then turn them on, and then that's mm -hmm. what we you experience as relief. Those little leads use electrical current, and it stimulates the nerves that are back there. And there's the greater occipital nerve, the lesser, and then the third occipital nerve. 
it stimulates those, and then instead of your pain, typically, you'll feel a tingling or buzzing mm -hmm. type sensation. I want you to talk to me more. So typically, when you do a trial, uh, you have to get 50 to 75% pain relief. Right. Um, and it has to improve your function and quality of life. And then we would think about the permanent placement of the mm -hmm. device. Um, now, you went on to get the permanent device. And can you talk to me about that a little bit? Um, well, everybody was... First of all, everybody was fantastic. Uh, you said 50% uh, to 75%. I got about 90% relief oh, okay. um, because it even ended up relaxing some of the muscle spasms at other places on, that yeah. I was experiencing them, which was quite the surprise. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody there was absolutely fantastic. And after the surgery, I felt great. Mm -hmm. um, I only needed um, the pain medication for the surgery very little um, that evening and a little bit the next day, wow. and that was it. You, well, know? you already have a really high pain tolerance, I would True. assume, True. from all of this. <laughs> True. Now, what is your life like now? Um, it's kind of funny. Um, you know, I hadn't been grocery shopping in a really mm -hmm. long time. I hadn't cooked in a really long time. It just hurt too much? or? Um, you know, I would use all my energy to go to work. Mm -hmm. um, I loved the kids at work, and it was important for me mm -hmm. to be there so I wasn't isolated. Sure. It helped me get out of bed in the morning and not just lie there. Mm -hmm. But it also took so much effort to do that when I came home to help manage my pain so I could do that the next day. Sure. I did nothing. Yeah. Um, so I would assume that it would be really hard to have normal relationships and friendships and all of those kind of things. Absolutely. Because those take energy. Absolutely. I mean, you know, my husband, God bless him, he took over mm -hmm. a lot of those kinds of things. Right. And he works really hard. He worked a lot of hours a day, mm -hmm. and then he'd come home, and he'd be like, oh, okay, I'm ironing your blouse for work the next day. I'm wow. putting the laundry in. I'm cooking you dinner. I'm doing wow. the grocery shopping. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it, he was amazing, you know. And right. I know a lot of marriages don't make it through 11 years of sure. that kind of pain. Yep, so, imagine. yeah. Yeah. Um, but now it's, I mean, something like being able to go to the dog park to do my own grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. um, I baked yesterday. I actually baked. I mean, it's, it sounds funny. They're really little things. Right. But to have those things back in your life mm -hmm. is just amazing. That is amazing. Well, what a great story. And I'm so uh, happy for you because it's just made such a huge impact and difference in your life. And that's really a blessing. And that's the reason that I went into pain medicine. What do you have to say to those people who are watching who might have a similar type of pain or maybe their pain's completely different, but mm -hmm. it, it really does disable them? What would you say to those people? Well, one of the things that I really hated was when people kind of gave me platitudes. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, if it's raining, learn to dance in the rain or something like that. It mm -hmm. was like, yeah, right, uh-huh. Yeah, I can't do that. You know, it's, uh, I'm going to work. You know, you don't see what's happening at home. That's right. me dancing in the rain. Right. Um, but um, there's something that really had a lot of meaning to me, and it's an old proverb. And if it's if you can't go over, you must go under. Mm -hmm. And that's you have to find different ways to keep trying, mm -hmm. even if it's really small things that keep you comfortable at home. Mm -hmm. um, that sometimes you just have to figure out for yourself. Mm -hmm. You become a problem solver, right? Um, or um, um, the big things that other people help you with: physical therapists, pain doctors. Right. Um, mm -hmm. um, you, know, you just have to keep trying. Right. If one injection doesn't help, mm -hmm. don't say, that's it, I'm giving up, you mm -hmm. know, that's it, you know, um, you got to keep trying. Right. You know, find another way. Yep. Well, I, you know, I think that you just have a tenacious spirit and you clearly never did give up and I think that that's very admirable and I encourage a lot of you guys who are watching and listening not to give up either and to keep looking for those options and there may be something out there that can really help you. Well, thank you so much for being on the program today. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're it. quite welcome. All right. All righty. And thank you. Thank you again. I can't thank you enough. You're very welcome. <laughs> yep. Thank you.